All right, hopefully this will be the last video on this uh, diesel heater I have, at least for this version. Um, finally got it uh, where I wanted it from the start after using it for a while. Figured out a couple things, what I wanted and what I didn't. Um, 3D printed this little cover here. This is where the hot air comes out from. So that sits there. the newest thing I did um, I haven't tested it yet so we'll see how it works basically this is the intake for the combustion this is the exhaust um, and this is the fuel line right here um, so what this is, is is the intake for it and right underneath there you can see it's it's recessed in there and it's pocketed there's actually a bunch of holes up here up here as well on the inside and allows air to flow in um, if you know the factory or the original screen wasn't really a filter it's more just a mesh screen to keep big stuff out there i may open this back up and shove uh either a mesh screen in there or a foam screen a foam piece of foam uh to help you know the finer stuff but there's no moving parts where the combustion chamber is so it's not that big of a deal it's just more to keep uh, the big stuff out and then I made a little transport cover for it it's just pressure fitted in there and uh, I might need to redo another one make it a little a little bit thicker so it's more pressure fitted so trying that out today Other than that, I haven't done too much on the exterior. This right here, I was debating on, this is the fresh air intake to heat, to get heated. Um, I wouldn't mind having this flush, but I like that I can change the angle where it pulls air in from, especially if it, I, I've used it in the snow, so this kind of keeps the snow from getting sucked in too much. Uh, the other thing I did, finally added some quick disconnects on the exterior. So the two pin one is the hot uh, power and ground for the heater and then this will be for the controller right here and then uh, I've had there was originally a big hole here that fed all these two wires through here so I can keep the box closed but neither of these fit here so I decided to add a USB and voltmeter here I won't ever need it but it fit the spot and I have a ton of these so this will no longer be transporting with me. This was just always a spare. I don't know if I'll take it with me. Um, so let's get inside the box. So in the box here, I have changed a few things. Freed up some space up here. Don't know what I'm gonna use this for because that's where this used to sit. Don't. Hopefully I won't need that anymore if my uh, intake system back here works. Um, the other thing is, this toolbox came with this tray um i didn't realize um i never had it in here before but recently helped a buddy build his and he ended up putting his tray back in and it fit so i was like oh i can actually use this so i put this back in didn't quite uh did the wiring here beforehand so i didn't anticipate this going back in so you can see how to cut a little groove here for it not too big of a deal because not like I'm really using this for anything. Um, so the tray fits back in here. Normally I take the T with me. These are the two. I redid the wiring or actually I kept the wiring for the controller. I just cut the wires and added uh, the quick disconnects on there. So that'll be the controller there. But for the power side, oh, and I also carry one of these here. This allows me, I bring jumper cables. So this is just a cigarette air plug. For whatever reason, if I need to go straight to the battery, I can just connect the jumper cables to this thing. And it'll give me a port. So spare fuse is for the cigarette lighter plug because that goes, can't use it anymore. Um, so this is, I up, upgraded the wiring on here. Um, a lot thicker wire. The original wire that came with it was crap. I know you've seen in my other video. It would not fire up without the engine started. I think there was just too much voltage drop in the wiring. Um, so I upped the wiring on this thing. So we'll be testing it out. See if the upgraded wires made a difference. 
um, and it's just a cigarette lighter plug. So take these two out. And then, uh, other than that, that's about it. Uh oh, I helped my buddy do his. His didn't come with the five liter that originally came with mine. This is a five liter fuel here that used to sit right in here. Um, he ended up ordering a five liter one and it came, his came this uh, short one and it fitted right in here and allowed him to keep the tray. My tray didn't fit with this one, at least not that well. So I ordered up the same five liter, uh, the five liter tank that's a little shorter and fatter um, and put this back in here. Um, freed up a lot for more space above it um, and be trying that out today I haven't tried it out I just had some scrap aluminum here here and here let's take this out take a look and it's just bolted in here keeps it from coming up and then this one's bolted this way keeps it from sliding that way um, got new uh fuel line and fuel in here the original setup was the same it was just really short i didn't anticipate i didn't account for how much of a bend it was going to be so this pushed it all the way over the one side allowed this to be more free um and then you can see all the wiring here the quick disconnects the cigarette lighter plug or the usb plug voltmeter the quick disconnect plugs are right in here and then the diesel heater is wired into it um, and then this box right here is just my uh, controller right there. It's the controller for it. So we'll get this all wired or set up and fired up and see if it works. All right, these quick disconnects, super easy to use. Got this one here. Take the cover off and it's keyed. You just gotta line it up and it snaps in. That's the power one, and then this would be the controller. Three wires. Clicks in, and that's it. All right, I got it all wired up on the quick disconnects. And for my case, I just have uh, outlets right here on the shelf. I got two more I got to do on the other side. So while, we while I wait for this to fire up, it turned it on already, so it's doing its turn on cycle I guess um, I'll go over some of the uh, options uh, so the goal was uh, to trucks off so the goal was to be able to fire this up without the truck starting hopefully the bigger wires I use make a difference um, and then I do have a voltmeter here I don't know how accurate that is but I mean there's voltage drop so maybe that is where it's at um, the other thing I did um, probably show you a video a snap to it but I added an LED light in here. You can see right there. It's just a little rock light right there. Especially at night, I tend to uh, top this off. I usually go on my trips, it's only half full. I tend to not fill it up when, I, uh, when I'm when uh, i transporting it because there's a vent here and when sloshing around it does come out. That's why there's paper towels here. Um, so when I get to camp, usually it's dark i like to have a light here it allows me to see while fueling up and then uh and since i was running power in here anyways or there's already power and i was redoing all the wiring it was just easy to do a little switch there on off so that should come in handy here firing up Let's see the quick disconnects usb plugs here charge my phone while i wait i guess okay <laughs> might as well go over this as well uh, well, before it gets too loud, um, I did a, it's a two inch exhaust wrap. I think it's fiberglass, the ad says uh, titanium, but I don't think it was. You're supposed to suck this in water before you wrap it on. Um, hoping that washed away some, uh, you can still see some of the fiberglass right there. So I don't know how I'm gonna handle this at camp. Um, but uh, before I didn't have the wrap, I'm doing it now because of the 3D printed uh, intake here. We're going to be uh, testing it out to see if this will not melt this. If it doesn't, then uh, we're going to run it. And if it does, I'll have to redesign this or maybe do like a metal plate or do something. I'm hoping this will reduce some of the heat and uh, go from there. Sounds like it's about to fire up. Alright, finally got fired up. I was able to get this to start without the truck running. You can hear the truck hasn't started yet. And uh, 
I have it set to uh, 5 hertz right now. So I want to see how this does at full heat. It does sound a little quieter with. Uh, so normally I'll run it like this. The quickest the legs are here, so everything's out of the way. It takes pulling in air. This is not the filter or the hose I normally use. I'm gonna be using these. This is normally one piece, but my last trip out uh, it got cut, so now it's two pieces. Might have to order another one if it's not long enough to reach the car. Got the exhaust on here um, with the heat wrap and the intake. Sounds a lot quieter but you can see it's burning off uh, the oils or fumes or whatever it may be on this. I'm hoping uh, it doesn't burn off uh, plastic on there. All right, it's been running for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. It's still, uh, the wrap's still smoking, uh, but the plastic seems to be holding up. Uh, it's a warm day today, it's 71 degrees out, so I don't know how warm or how hard this, uh, Heater's running right now to put out as much heat as it can on the exhaust pipe. I'm trying to test to see if it's going to melt that plastic or not. I'm probably not going to know this until uh, I take it out on my next trip and uh, run it overnight and see how it looks in the morning. Uh, it's working as, uh, as I have. Um, seems like the, the this uh, intake box here is not is not restricting any air exhaust pipe you can see it's not smoking at all I do run kerosene the system is working like it's supposed to so got the new tank in here no fuel leaks and uh, everything looks to be uh, working right now and you can see the battery voltage there looks like uh, 11 8 that is and still got our working light here as well so that should be this will be probably the final final version of this uh, intake or this uh, diesel heater um, in the future I plan on building another one with an actual smaller unit a 2kw one this is a 5kw and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to fit it in a smaller box or not but Hoping to do another version similar to this, but slightly smaller. All right, brought it inside to show the final setup with it uh, in the dark, uh, with the new uh, tank in here. Uh, it is a snug fit. It did slide in. It's kind of wedged in there, um, and it's held in as you can see. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's in um, at night, I guess, with the the new setup and the light that you can see here. And that's a 3D printed uh, diffuser, I guess. And it's transparent, so it allows a little bit more light out um, and not blind you as well. So there it is. This is probably the last time I uh, do a video on this one other than uh, there'll probably be some minor tweaks I may do um, while on the tread or after I do a couple nights using it and see if there's any changes I may need to do. But otherwise, um, pretty happy with the results and this is gonna be uh, basically it.